the types of hiatus hernia. So here you can see type 1. Type 1 hiatus hernia is known as sliding hernia. There is herniation of GE junction. So GE junction is herniated upwards. And if you see the most common type of hiatus hernia, it is type 1. So type 1 that is sliding hernia. This is the most common type. And in this case, there is herniation of GE junction. So what happens? The GE junction is herniated upwards. So in this case, you can see GE junction, it is herniated upwards. There is herniation of GE junction. So it is herniated upwards. That's why what is the problem? Since GE junction is herniated upwards, these patients will be having signs and symptoms of reflux. Either patient is asymptomatic or patient might be having the symptoms of GRD symptoms of reflux. If you see type 2, type 2 hiatus hernia, it is known as true paraesophageal hernia. It is also known as rolling hernia. Here you can see there is herniation of fundus of stomach by the side of esophagus. So what happens in type 2 that is true paraesophageal hernia also known as rolling hernia. Here there is asymmetric herniation of stomach next to esophagus and if you see G junction G junction is not herniated, it is at its normal location. So, in this case, what's the problem? Asymmetric herniation of part of stomach that is fundus. So, here there is asymmetric herniation of stomach next to esophagus, para means by the side. So, next to esophagus and which part of stomach is most commonly herniated that is fundus. If you see G junction, here you can see G junction, its position is normal. So, G junction position is normal. If you see type 3, type 3 is known as mixed sliding as well as paraesophageal hernia. Why it is known as both mixed sliding as well as paraesophageal hernia? Because there is herniation of G junction upwards. Simultaneously, there is herniation of fundus of stomach also. So, this is mixed sliding and paraesophageal hernia. If you see out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 are paraesophageal hernia. So, question is asked sometimes that what is the most common hiatus hernia? The most common hiatus hernia is sliding type 1 and most common type of paraesophageal hernia that is type 3. So, type 3, this is the most common type of paraesophageal hernia. Yeah. If you see type 1, for what percentage of people type 1 is responsible? It is responsible for 85 to 95 percent cases. So, overall in 85 to 95 percent cases of hiatus hernia, it is which type? Type 1. After that, you can see type 4. Here you can notice that apart from herniation of stomach, there is herniation of some other part of bowel. So, if abdominal viscera other than stomach migrates into hernial sac, that is type 4. Abdominal viscera other than stomach is going to hernia that is type 4. So, it's very easy to understand the symptoms. If you see type 1 here, what kind of symptoms patient will be having? These patients will be having symptoms of reflux. Either patient is asymptomatic or the patients will be having symptoms of reflux means symptoms of GRD. So, signs and symptoms of GRD. In type 2, type 3, type 4, what is the problem? Since there is herniation of fundus of stomach and in type 4, other bowel is also herniated. So, what happens? There is obstruction and because of this obstruction, what will be the symptoms? Patient will be having pain. Sometimes there might be strangulation and if there will be strangulation, these patients might be having perforation. So, there might be complications in type 2, 3, 4. Mainly in type 2, 3, 4, there will be compression symptoms or symptoms of obstruction.